Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can connect your Dialogflow agent to Slack and use Google's AI in your Slack chatbot. Let's dive in. So now I am in Dialogflow and I already created a simple pizza bot in my previous video. So that's the one I'm going to use. And then if you go to integrations, you need to scroll down and click on Slack. And here you can first click on the test in Slack to test out this integration. So if we click on it, we need to provide permission for Slack workspace. You click on allow. And then if you go to your Slack workspace, which I have already opened, then you can click on add apps and click on Dialogflow bot. And then if you say hello, it says, hi, how can I help you? So that already works, but this is just really simple. But if you want your own app, you need to follow more steps. So if we go back to Dialogflow and scroll down, I already have some previous values, so I will delete those, but you will see that we need the Slack client ID, the client secret, and a verification token. So if we go to api.slack.com slash apps, we can create our own Slack app. So let's do this. We can just click on create an app, and we will call this Dialogflow Slack Chatbot. And then you can choose your Slack workspace, so I will choose Chatomize. But beware that the Slack app is linked to your workspace. This means that if you leave your workspace, you cannot manage this app anymore. So there you can click on create app. And then if you scroll down, you will see the client secret, the client ID and the verification token. So we'll just copy the client ID and we'll paste it in Dialogflow. We will do the same for the client secret. So we'll click on show, copy it, and put it there. And lastly, we will copy the verification token and paste it there. Next, we need to copy this URL and we need to paste this into Slack. So copy this URL. And then if we go to Slack, we need to go to app and permissions under features. So if you click on that, we need to add a redirect URL. So we can just click on add new redirect URL, paste this URL and click on add. And then we need to click on save URLs. So when you have done that, we need to add bot token scopes. So we currently don't have any scopes and we need to add several. And I will also put these in the description so you precisely know which ones we need to add. But it is app mentions read, it is calls read, it is calls right. It is channels history. It is channels read. It is chat right. It is groups history. It is I am history. I am read. I am write and team read. So that's the ones you need to add. And then we need to go back to Dialogflow and copy the events request URL. So we can copy this. And then if we go to event subscriptions, which is also under features, click on event subscriptions. We need to enable the event and paste the URL there. Then we also need to subscribe to bot events. So we can add a bot user event message dot channels message dot groups message dot im and message dot mpim. So I will also add these in the description so you know which ones you need to choose. Next, we need to click on Save Changes. And now we need to go back to Dialogflow and click on Start. So now the Slack app is connected to Dialogflow, but the only thing we need to do left is add it to our workspace. So if we go back to Slack and click on Manage Distribution, 
then we need to click on the add to slack button when you've clicked on that and click on allow it needs to say but connection success and then if you go to your slack workspace you automatically see that it is added so now if you say hey it will say hi how can i help you but you can also say i want to order a pizza and then say what toppings do you want on your pizza beef and sausage and then it says sure i will add it to your order do you also want another pizza so this is when you talk to your chatbot in a private conversation but you can also add it to a channel so if we create a new channel and we will call it chatbot click on create then we will say add dialog flow slack chatbot then we can click on add to channel and then if we say add dialog flow slack chatbot i want to have a pizza it says what toppings do you want on your pizza so that is how you connect dialog flow to slack and create your own slack chatbot if you have any questions about how you can use dialog flow and slack and some things are not really clear yet, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.